Okay, so could you tell us a little bit about how Fleance's motivations and actions are influenced by both personal situations and external situations with other people and life? Well, he knows his dad is very important, so obviously he needs to act just as just a little bit less important, but still mildly important around him and around other people he meets with. Excellent. Now, Macbeth receives prophecies that suggest he's invincible unless certain very improbable things happen. What effect do you think these prophecies have on his relationship with his friends? And how do you think his belief in his absolute power affects his relationship with other people? Well, when he has his prediction, he does know he's invincible because there's very few odds that he's going to die now. The witches have told him that. Very little chance. So therefore, he goes completely off his nut and sends all his troops into Scotland to fight the enemy and he just wants to overrule the entirety of Scotland and be on top. Excellent. So what do you think are the motivations that affect Fleance's actions? Ooh, motivations. Why, why does he flee? He flees because he's, he's been beaten. Mm -hmm. He's been beaten by a murderer who's about to kill his, about to kill his dad. Yeah. And is there, a, is there a bigger reason than that, do you think? Or is it literally survival? Survival, yeah. You Excellent. Do you do. Yeah, that's true enough. And how do you feel that your character portrays morality in this play? Portrays morality because he's very innocent. He doesn't do much in the way of arguing or fighting or anything along those lines. He tries to keep innocence with him. Excellent. Thank you very much.